is my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? Going down the life of a Pisces for the 1st to the 15th of September. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. Welcome to Mocha Love Terrible. If this is your first time viewing, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing, hey, I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say. All of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Okay, we don't fight, we don't fuss, we don't do all that other shit. We do cuss. We uplift, we enlighten, we evolve, we grow, okay? This is quite the damn journey, and I'm thankful that I have all of you all to share it with, all right? As well as my likes. So, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the love, all of that. Y'all, I read every single comment. Again, things are picking up for me, so I may not, don't have time to respond to everyone, but I try to make sure I acknowledge everybody's comments. Y'all, I love y'all so much to pieces, baby, okay? <laughs> y'all it's been quite the damn road okay if you're late to the point this is for the sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watches for the sun sign of pisces okay um this is not a personal it is a general if you need a personal that information can be found within the description bar okay um also this will be the last week if you need a ten dollar ten minute reading which is a one card one question reading okay um of course it's one card but then i laid three clarifies to be able to give you all the tea that you need for your one question okay but it's ten dollars and it's completely ending all together ever forever ever forever ever after well after August 31st. So by September the 1st, that will be dead. Okay, so if you want to get that reading in, I'm not 100% booked. Go ahead and get them in, all right? Usually I try and do it the same day or at the latest the next day. So if you haven't got your reading, your 10 minute reading, if you ain't your funds funny, but you want to read them, it's one question now. And I'm not extending that time. So don't be like, Mook, I got another question for 10. Mm -mm. No, okay? I'm having to put my boundaries up, all right? But it don't mean I love. I does not mean that I love you any less, okay? It just means that I have a business to run. And if you were running your business, would you want Mocha asking for free shit all the damn time? Because it's a lot of energy that I exert to do these generals as well as personals, which pays my bills with my single mama self. So look out, y'all understand? Y'all like y'all buy y'all money. So if don't nobody feel me, y'all feel me. I have a Pisces moon, so don't tell me you don't. Let's rock, all right? So, between the 1st and the 15th, the first message that I have for you guys comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. The message that wanted to fall for Pisces, I don't know if y'all got this last time. Yeah, somebody got to put in the comments what y'all got last time because I can't remember. But, it's Lapis Lazuli. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time for big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Are you ready to ascend? Is the people ready to grow? <laughs> Is the people ready to receive the blessings? Uh, your angel's trying to talk to you, baby. Let's rock. Lapis Lazuli. Your life is about to change with blessings supporting you, your progress in learning and growing. This card signals that you're reaching a pivotal moment when you will make a life-changing decision. You may also have an epiphany that seems to turn your life upside down. Perhaps you realize the truth about yourself, a relationship, your health, or your career. Facing truths can be frightening, yet also freeing. Lapis lazuli can also signal transformation on your spiritual path. You may return to core beliefs. Okay, connect with Mother Mary, who is associated with the color blue and lapis, or awaken your natural spiritual gifts. This Pisces full moon, honey. Okay, last night that moon was. Booming. It literally looked like you could see two fish in the damn moon. I don't know who else is a visionary like me. My third eye has been pouring while I'm while I'm awake, <laughs> while I'm asleep. Alright, so it's been going down gang gang. Alright? So we rock it. Guy wants to know, um, well guy wants to tell you from the first to the fifteenth, a lot of y'all are in twin flame partnerships, okay? If you ain't in it, it's coming to you between this first and the fifteenth of September. Here it comes my honey. Or the gay. So I do see a lot of y'all, and also this could be within the self. Some of y'all are actually balancing your masculine and your feminine energy within yourself during this time, okay? So you're needing to stay centered. So a lot of y'all are going to be finding yourselves, um, centering yourselves, uh, centering yourself and also um, 
centering your chakras, okay? More so your solar plexus, okay? Also, again, some of y'all third eye is going to be Corey. Some of y'all have a telepathic connection, possibly with a soulmate or a twin flame. And I feel like during this time, both of y'all are having an awakening. This could be another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And if you're wondering about this person, this person, it was infinite with you meeting this person. Some of y'all possibly met somebody the day of the full moon who's a water sign like yourself. And again, it was destined for you to meet this person. Both of y'all are on the spiritual path, okay? And you are a part of their journey, all right? So trust yourself, trust your instincts, trust the information that you're receiving from your third eye. And for those of you who have gifts uh, awakening, because I do see a lot of you are going to find out that you have spiritual gifts during this time, okay? And if spirit is asking you not to be afraid, but to center yourself, okay? A lot of y'all are truly in love, Love, if love has not knocked you off your feet, Pisces, here it comes. And it's possibly coming in the form of a fire sign or a water sign. A lot of y'all are going to be finding out that a lot of y'all have a new beginning that you're building. Some of y'all are moving completely um, away. Some of y'all are possibly starting something new. Some of y'all are having children, possibly by a fire sign. You're going to find out that you're pregnant between the 1st and the 15th, okay? Um, let's see, rich gray babes. <laughs> Change five 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 pew 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 change is coming baby okay so I do see here um a lot of y'all definitely possibly will be moving forward uh with an Aries strongly because I see this one here with the Rams okay some of y'all will definitely be moving forward with an Aries possibly okay and for some of y'all it's also a Leo Leo Leo's in the building yeah but some of y'all are in love some of y'all are moving towards what it is or moving toward creating during this time what it is that you're passionate about whether it's starting a new business whether it's leaving an old job where you fucking tired at and moving to something that you love to do okay but some of y'all some of y'all are dealing with someone who mirrors you are you starting to see some of y'all are starting to see both the light as well as the darkness within the self during this time okay and i feel like internally we some of us have been fighting ourselves to change or some of y'all are possibly are going to be in conflict conflict as well with a fire sign during this time Aries Leo Sag for some people some people is loving on fire some people is loving on fire and beefing with another fire sign so I feel like if, for some people if you're getting along with one fire sign it's another one that's a pain in your ass right now during this time and it's okay spirit is needing you to stay grounded okay some of y'all are um but I feel like with this water sign, y'all, whoever this person is, they definitely mirror you. They don't even have to. They could be fire and have water in their chart as well. Uh, but I also see with this one here, this could also even be another Pisces like yourself. Or they can have Pisces within their moon or their rising. But I do see you dealing with someone you could possibly find in communication during this time that whomever your new partner is, is like, damn, like you like the male me. Like you like the female me. Like what the hell you been all my life? <laughs> you going to be like out here bullshitting, <laughs> dealing with a damn book dancing. Don't even get me started. Okay. So, <laughs> but spirit is needing you to ground yourself during this time. Y'all, when I say this third eye is going to be popping, a lot of y'all are going to fall in remembrance of this life and your past life, okay? You're going to, like I said, literally, your third eye is literally going to be your key map. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Capricorn, and I feel like this person is very grounded. This could also be the father of your children, okay? This person has not communicated with you that they're very intuitive i honestly feel like if you feel like they're keeping something close to the chest they're also going through a spiritual awakening okay especially listen to what this person is saying listen to where their conversation is shifting to listen pay attention to their actions and how they're moving right now okay more than anything because actions definitely are speaking louder than words in y'all life and y'all starting to see that okay for some of y'all y'all third eye is going to be revealing things to you that it's going to be hard for you to accept but you got to move on. Spirit says, <laughs> Spirit say you have to move on because you can stand in your own way. A lot of y'all are e have been emotionally manipulated, uh, have been emotionally, emotionally manipulated, okay? Possibly by an earth sign or by a fire sign, okay? But Spirit is trying to bring you back center. Spirit is trying to bring you back, okay, to your natural element, all right? A lot of y'all are walking into new, new. This is win, 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 win season for most, especially my Pisces, okay? A lot of y'all are going through a major spiritual awakening. Some of y'all are finding out again that you can astro plane. I'm speaking to my newer intuitives. You thought that maybe you only read cards and you thought that maybe you only have dreams, but you're finding out when you go to sleep, you astro plane. So some of y'all are scared to go to sleep. Take your ass to bed. 
God is not the it's not the it's not the author of confusion, okay? Take your ass to bed, all right? Also, some of y'all during this time will be communicating your authentic self, all right? You're going to be communicating with your authentic self. Some of y'all have an air sign that you need to settle the score with, okay? Period, point blank. Or there's an air sign that possibly could be moving forward towards you or you moving forward towards them to communicate in an open way, okay? Y'all are going to be using more so intellect over emotions during this time, all right? But you definitely have a decision to make. Some of y'all are going to have to, again, leave some things behind. Okay, some of y'all gonna have to take blind faith, right? Some some of y'all you have to listen, read between the lines as far as communication because some of y'all have somebody communicating with y'all on like y'all got a finesse in the midst. Y'all have somebody here. It's like blind faith. It's like you don't want to see, okay, what's beyond this door. You don't want to know, all right? But how you? But but it's kind of crazy because it's like you're not making a choice to walk in this one because you don't know. You get what I'm saying? This one here is sorrow, regret. Woulda, coulda, shoulda's been there, done that. Told the story, wrote the damn book, got the t-shirt, all right? This one here is an enlightening door, but the path is narrow as fuck. Everybody can't go with you. Show, not the snakes, all right? And for some of y'all, you're going to find out that uh, a lot of people, especially with this fire element, the fire sign, a lot of people that's trying to help you on the cool, trying to help you, have been hindrance to you, okay? Have been a hindrance to you, all right? Have been a hindrance to you. Okay, have been a hindrance to you, and you're gonna choose to go down this damn door on this narrow path by my damn self. I could do bad by my damn self, especially when it's beneficial to me because I'm damn sure gonna learn some. I'm gonna take everything that I've learned and travel down my path because I know I got me. Okay, that's the attitude I see Pisces having between the first and the 15th of September. Also, I told y'all some of y'all have to settle the score with air signs, some of y'all are gonna cut off a, a cut off a Gemini Libra Aquarius altogether, and I feel like. You're going to allow yourself to heal from the situation because I feel like you were in a healing period back in back in August and she came in and disrupted shit, okay? And I feel like it was just a test, Pisces, for you to choose yourself this time. You choose everybody else. Choose yourself and what it is you're passionate about. Some of y'all... Some of y'all are going to receive some truth, okay? You may not like it, but it's going to come from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Are you going to tell this person about their damn self because they toxic as fuck? This person... This person, I feel like every you want unity, Pisces. You want fairness, okay? Some of y'all are also healing from some sort of communication, possibly from a Aquarius, where you feel some type of remorse, okay? It's not for you to feel remorseful, baby. It's for you to learn from, grow from it. Let it make you better. Turn your pain into power during this time, okay? Don't fall on your face. Get up. Move, baby. You got this, all right? Um, during this time, yeah, some of y'all are going to be receiving some truth and clarity about something that you're passionate about or someone that you're passionate about, maybe somebody who you've been sexing on. You're going to find out that they got some type, some type of toxicity in their energy. Some of y'all going to find out that folks been talking behind your back, like, majorly, especially if it's having to do with the Capricorn, okay? This Capricorn could also be dealing with an Aquarius and talking behind your back to that person, all right? Spirit, please show me what my Pisces can expect between the 1st and the 15th of September. My Pisces expect. Spirit, show me. All right, yeah. Things are going to be revealed, okay? Some of y'all are kind of in your head about leaving a toxic person in the cold. It's like part of you feels like fuck them, and the other part of you actually feels somewhat sorry for them. All right, but I do feel like for some of y'all, it's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And some of y'all, it's a Scorpio. Okay, and for some of y'all, it's another Pisces like y'all, but some of y'all, it's fire and air. Yeah, some of y'all, you have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, watching you. Or I feel like intuitively, you y'all are definitely trusting your intuition during this time. Trust your intuition because I feel like you have somebody younger, a man. Okay, this is definitely for, could be for my women, but it could be for my man too. It's a man that's offering you new beginnings. They're offering you newness, okay? But there's still shit that you don't know about them. And this new moon, I'm sorry, this full moon in Pisces just illuminated some shit in a whole new way. And it has to do with, it's kind of a test from the universe. You being able to walk away, you being able to close out cycles and know when it's your time to walk, know when it's time to move the hell around and choose yourself and when it's time to stay. Know when it's time to go and when it's time to stay because you're definitely ending cycles, okay? But some of y'all, you're going... You're entering a cycle with the Scorpio, period, point blank. Some of y'all are definitely walking away from a water sign during this time. Some of y'all 
Actually, you had an earth sign leave you out in the cold, possibly in August, okay? But this person, you're going to get to know why this person left. It definitely had to do possibly with the Scorpio or another air sign or a fire sign. But y'all finna get to find out, okay? Let's rock. I feel like um, also, for those of you, um, some of y'all got an Aquarius that's talking, y'all. Um, some of y'all have a Gemini, all right, that you need to trust your intuition about. You walked away from this person, and this person wants to be in your world, but they're toxic as hell. They're not good for your path, and you're going to choose yourself. I see you're going to choose yourself. I see Pisces is going to choose the self. About time, two tears in the bucket. Fucking Pisces. Nobody got time for that. All right, let's rock. Yeah, some of y'all are going to be cutting off an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, because I feel like every time you get to a period of healing, here comes this person making this so bland ass offer. You walking away from the bland ass offers right now. If you ain't got no flavor, <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. You can't get all of this because I got the juice, boo. Yeah, y'all definitely walking away from a fire sign from your past, okay? Some of y'all are healing from possibly a family situation or a situation having to do with uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Some of y'all are healing and moving away from what once was in the past with a fire sign and just moving forward victoriously you over the shit okay so some of y'all gonna stay in some of y'all gonna go some of y'all are making a judgment call on the aries leo sag and you're going to communicate with this person and to be honest i really don't think that they're going to like what you say because i feel like pisces is telling somebody hey you a burden you really a burden and i'm going to get this monkey up off my back some of y'all are even and not the score. Some of y'all are married to a Capricorn or this Capricorn was married during this time. And at first, it's kind of what you wanted. But now you're starting to see things and shit's going to hit the fan during this time. Secrets is going to be exposed. And I feel like this person is rushing you. Like, come on, we got to do it now. We got to do it now. We got to do it now. For some of y'all, it's a Taurus. But we got to do it now. We got to do it now. You're like, what the hell is going on? Take your time. If you intuitively felt the weight, sis, bro, you felt the weight for a reason. Trust yourself. Okay, style, style that monkey on night. Some of y'all are cutting off an Aquarius and moving forward by yourself and focusing on your money. I feel like all oh, an Aquarius is finna tell you this, all right? Some of y'all, some of y'all gonna find out that somebody has some shit going on behind it. This is for the person who wanna hurry up and get married or hurry up and move fast. Y'all, somebody is finna get put on child support because when they dipped out and left you out in the cold, somebody went and had some children or could possibly be a father. To somebody's baby and and they're trying to keep it to themselves or keep it secret okay until they know for sure for sure that's their child that's why they want to marry but you better take your time because i see sis gonna put you on child support some of y'all have a sagittarius that you love that left you out in the cold or you left this person out in the cold secrets are getting ready to be revealed that's going to actually even the skills and make you have you're going to have to be able to make the decision or am i going to stay here in this situation or am i going to move around Somebody is going to take a Sagittarius to court as well during this time. Some of y'all are in a third party situation, okay? Or you had an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Chris, that put you in a third party situation. Intuitively, you already knew, but you wanted to see it on the surface because you have children with this person. Or some of y'all could intuitively know that somebody had a third party situation going on and, and went out there and had some babies. And then, think, think it was, think, then thought they were going to come back like everything was all good. But they still ain't told you that part. Hold up, homeboy. That part, though. I want to know that part. Let's talk about that. Pisces, it ain't what you say. It's how you say it. Y'all got to look for this. You know what time it is. Some of y'all are coming out of a period of feeling like you got to defend yourself all the time with people. Some of y'all are just going to pull back away from folks. Some of y'all are definitely walking away from a Virgo, okay? You just feel like I'm growing. I'm ascending. I'm on this journey. And... I'm vibrating above you right now. I got to do something different. Some of y'all intuitively know and you just feel if I just move away and close this door, I got something beautiful. Okay, I got something beautiful coming to me. Some of y'all are walking away from a water sign in the past who, from a water sign who you already know. Maybe this person plays the victim all the time because I feel like this is someone who plays the victim. Instead of taking accountability, they're like, oh, remember what you did? Remember when you had overlooked me for old oh boy because you said I ain't have a job? Remember this? And like, you want to move forward. You finally trust this person with your heart and this man walls down. And here they come with violins and shit. Nobody got time for that. Keep that sad shit over there in the sad section. 
you can't sit with us, all right? Some of y'all are walking away from a Gemini in the past. This person left you out in the cold. This person made you feel like you were an option and not the choice, and you hit the door on their ass. Some of y'all are moving away from allowing people to come in and just get some and deal, okay? Because I feel like some of y'all have a fire sign. This person is a fast talker, okay? And I feel like <laughs> you could, uh, this person is a soulmate to y'all, though. It's a past life relationship, some type of connection, okay? It could also just be, if this is a family member, this could be somebody who, <laughs> the destroyer. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. The deceiver, you understand? And it's you got to get past that energy, know how to see it, recognize it. Know what it is. Play chess. Keep a poker face and don't allow your emotions to consume you to move forward and choose yourself and show a motherfucker. Ha ha. He who laughs first. <laughs> shall let her, Shall. Well, I don't know how I, what they're saying, but just know I'm going to laugh last, damn it. Okay? Shit. Yeah, I'm country and I forgot the saying. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all moving away from a toxic ass fire sign. This person, this person, I feel like you feel stuck to them, like you feel obligated, like you had to do that. And this person, I feel like is playing on you emotionally, and you moving away from that. You just like, look, I can't help you, baby. Who I look like? God. I'm gonna let God do His job. Let me go ahead and you know do what's right because I feel like you just want to be fair, but I also feel like. While you're trying to be fair, somebody is planning against you, Pisces. You're going to find out somebody is planning against you to fuck you over. All right? Y'all come in let me know because I see that strong. If you intuitively feel that, you are right. Some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all going to take a leap of faith with an Aries. This person is definitely a soulmate to you. You're going to move forward with this person and move away from turbulence. And that's how you're going to see a new cycle. If it's not an Aries, it could also be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? And for some of y'all, it is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're definitely going to be moving forward, okay? You're going to put the work in for your damn self. A lot of y'all are going to be starting new jobs, okay? But I feel like... Being around this particular energy or this person was kind of a blockage for you because everybody ain't meant to bask in your blessings with you, period. I don't care how much you want to make it happen. Let God do God's job, period, babies, okay? Because definitely, y'all definitely got, <laughs> y'all definitely got a soulmate coming, okay? This person um, could definitely be here in the next two weeks, two days, but y'all, this, this moon illuminated something very infinite when it did. And to be honest with you, this could be a water sign. If it's fire, it could be a Leo. It could be an Aries or a massage. It could also be a Taurus, okay? But I feel like y'all are finally pulling your damn sword out and communicating shit that you don't like, okay? But for some of y'all, you're going to just, actually, some of y'all going to definitely be starting new jobs, okay? Some of y'all are going to be working on your marriage during this time and restoring the love, okay? Some of y'all have a soulmate that is an Aquarius, all right? For some of y'all, this person is a twin flame to you. For some of y'all, it's a Gemini. And I feel like there's passion there, but there's also defensiveness. Somebody has to kill the ego, and somebody has to make the choice to show this motherfucker, I'm going to choose me. All right, so I can show you better than I can tell you because I'm tired of telling you the same thing. I'm not going to wait forever. I'm going to put this fire under my ass and I'm going to go make this move for me. And if you for me, you're going to be for me. You're going to follow. All right. If not, or you're going to compromise. If not, I ain't lost nothing. I learned a lesson and I'm walking into my damn blessings because I know how to be by myself. I know when to be by myself. And I know if nobody else got me, I got myself. All right, but still stay accepting and receiving because y'all do have new money looking good. You got to make a decision to leave some snakes behind. You ain't lost nothing. Cut their fucking head off. You ain't lost nothing. All right, but I promise you when you choose you, baby, when you choose you, win, 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 win. Because everybody can't eat at the winter circle. Period. That's what I have for my Pisces between the 1st and the 15th of September. I love you, my babies. I will see y'all mid-month with some more spiciness. Mm, bubbles.